And so I often chat to clients or potential clients and, you know, they say to me, I've just come off the pill and I'm just going to, you know, figure it out for myself. I'm just going to wait and see. I'm just going to, you know, wait and see what happens. And I almost like want to laugh in their faces when they say this, because while it's very endearing, it is so far from reality it's so far from being grounded and rooted in the truth of the body because nothing changes if nothing changes and unfortunately we've grown up in a society where we haven't been taught how to um, put our bodies first how to honor our feminine hormones how to honor our emotions how to look after our womb so many women that come to my page and find my content it's like the first time in their lives that they are ever hearing about what the fuck is womb healing it's the first time they're ever hearing about that a lot of men as well hello and welcome to sink and flow the podcast with me your host josie thorne i am a red tent woman circle facilitator a womb healer and feminine empowerment coach i have been guiding women to embody their true essence through womb activations and feminine embodiment practices i started sink and flow to help educate and connect women back to the wisdom of their sacred womb space and cyclical nature I want to help all women reawaken to the true power of the feminine that lives deep within them so that they may cultivate a relationship to self that is rooted in pure trust, divine love and a deeply intuitive connection to the body. Thank you for being here and taking the time to listen to this podcast episode. I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome back to Sink and Flow, the podcast. I'm so excited to have you here for this juicy short little episode. So let's dive in. Thank you for being here. And if you enjoy the show, please don't forget to rate it five stars on Spotify and Apple. And if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like, subscribe button, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel Thank you for being here, all my love. No, but seriously, guys, isn't this the biggest (laughs) Palo Santo stick you have ever seen in your entire life? Like, look, it's literally half the size of my face. (laughs) Blessings to my friend Mishka, who brought this bad boy back from Peru for me. And it's going to last me a year. I'm so excited. Um, So yeah, today I'm jumping on to just quickly chat about why lifestyle changes are not enough to heal. And while they are super important and a huge part of, you know, the cyclical living aspect of the womb healing that I do and helping my clients heal their hormones, a lot of it is to do with lifestyle changes, you know, eating the right things, exercising in the right ways, doing the yoga, doing the stress reduction things like mindfulness, uh, meditation, breath work, all of those things. Unfortunately, the lifestyle changes are not enough for us to heal on a deep rooted permanent level and changing your diet may definitely help to lessen your symptoms may help to um you know reduce your cortisol may help to balance things out a lot better and you know lessen the levels of pain and cramping and symptoms that you do experience Um, And whether it's, you know, physical pain or emotional pain, frustration, anger, whatever you are experiencing, unfortunately, these changes in lifestyle, exercise, diet, uh, sleep patterns, etc. are not enough to heal on a deep rooted permanent level. And so I often chat to clients or potential clients And, you know, they say to me, I've just come off the pill and I'm just going to, 
you know, figure it out for myself. I'm just gonna wait and see. I'm just gonna, you know, wait and see what happens. And I almost like want to laugh in their faces when they say this, because while it's very endearing, it is so far from reality. It's so far from being grounded and rooted in the truth of the body, because nothing changes if nothing changes. And unfortunately, we've grown up in a society where we haven't been taught how to um, put our bodies first, how to honor our feminine hormones, how to honor our emotions, how to look after our womb. So many women that come to my page and find my content, it's like the first time in their lives that they are ever hearing about what the fuck is womb healing. It's the first time they're ever hearing about that. A lot of men as well. Hi, Leo. Um, and so for me, it's really around like having to teach people that Everything that I do with my clients and that I teach in my courses and coaching programs, a lot of it is things that you've never even heard of in your life before. Ways of living, ways of being, ways of connecting to your body that you've never even considered because it's just so far from the paradigm, societal, cultural paradigm that we've grown up in, that we have been, you know, taught how to look after ourselves, taught how to honor our bodies, taught how to listen, right? And listen deeply to the energy that's flowing, the emotions that are flowing, what is going on in the relational field internally and externally. And so... Nothing changes unless nothing changes, right? This is a saying that I'm going to come back to a lot in this in this little chat because in this episode because yeah, nothing changes unless nothing changes. And so the reason that you have struggled with everything that you're struggling with up until now is because you do not have the tools to change. You do not have the tools to understand yourself on the levels that you need. You do not have the tools to heal. Unfortunately, this is just how it is. And so this is why we need to work with practitioners, womb healers, coaches, therapists, and people who have trained, like me, who have trained for many, many years to make this their profession, to become experts in this field of understanding how do the physical health relate to the emotional health, relate to the mental health, relate to the energetic health, because it's all connected. And I very much pride myself on being someone that um, encompasses all four of these aspects of health. I work on a multidimensional level. I work with all aspects of health. We're not just addressing, um, you know, the physical, but we're also addressing the energetic, the spiritual, the mental, and the emotional. And we're seeing how all of these things are deeply linked and work synergistically together. It is a system and all of these things rely on the previous level of health in order for it to be functional. So if your emotional health is not functional, then of course your mental health is not going to be functional. If your mental health is not functional, then of course your physical health isn't going to be functional, you know? So it's this um, lay on effect, this domino effect that happens. And so this is why, and I'll go back to the example that I used of when girls get off the pill or they come off hormonal birth control, them trying to get their period back all on their own is like, is like a ballet dancer trying to run a marathon. You know, I'm trying to use like an example, a silly example here, but um, it just doesn't make sense because they have not received the training and the understanding and the tools that I have to be able to help themselves because all they know is what they have been doing. And so what you have been doing uh, has created the exact results and levels of health that you have right now. Everything that you have been doing in the past has manifested your current reality as it is now. And so if you want to change your current reality or your 
you know, levels of health as they are now. Like if you are not very happy with how your health is manifesting right now, if you are not very happy with your emotional state, if you are not very happy with your mental well-being, your mental health state of being right now, then obviously you need to do something completely different than you have been doing in the past and in the present to create a different outcome in the future. And the reason that lifestyle changes like yoga, like meditation, like changing your diet. I mean, meditation is different because it has been proven to, uh, you know, change the gray matter of our brain. And yoga as well has been proven as a very powerful trauma healing modality. But doing these things alone, changing your diet alone, doing yoga alone, meditating alone, changing your sleep cycles alone, it's not going to do anything because you're working in isolation, just focusing on the body, just focusing on the mental health, just focusing on what food you're putting into your body. And unfortunately, like I said, nothing exists in a vacuum. You cannot focus on just one aspect of being, one aspect of living at a time. You have to focus in a multi-dimensional, holistic view. And um, while these practices like yoga and meditation are really great for reducing stress and you know releasing tension in the body it also takes a very 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 long time you know i've been doing yoga for about seven years it definitely wasn't yoga that got me to where i am today like it definitely did help contribute and I'm very grateful to yoga and all of the tools it has given me, the self-regulation um, and the release of tension in my body. But it definitely did not get me to where I am today. Yoga did not help me heal my relationship to my feminine energy in isolation, you know. Um you know, meditation did not help give me my confidence. Yoga did not help heal my social anxiety. Um, meditation did not help me speak my truth. You know what I mean? And so while these things may have like, you know, a background kind of supportive, um, foundational support system approach, they're not pinpointing what we need. We need a direct approach. We need a um, strategy that's going to go straight to the root cause of the issue, right? And so that's why I'm saying like yoga and diet and meditation, they're great as well as all rounder practices, but they do not go straight to the root cause of the issue. And so this is how I work. I work from the root cause and every person's root cause is going to be unique because we all have a unique um, we're all unique. We all have a unique childhood. We all grew up with unique parents, unique parenting styles, unique situations, environments, schooling, education, etc., etc. So all of our traumas are also unique and all of the root causes to our traumas are also unique. And so this is why the, the fastest way to heal is by working at a root cause somatic subconscious level. So that's quite a mouthful. Let me break it down. So root cause, that is pinpointing the reason for why, you know, you're experiencing what you are experiencing, why you're experiencing the pain, the trauma, etc. Then somatic is to do with the body because our trauma lives in our body, not in our minds, okay? And then subconscious, and I'm sure if you've been watching my content for a while, you will know I often speak about the difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. 
Only 5% of your daily actions, thoughts, and belief systems are coming from your conscious mind. 95% of your daily thoughts, actions, and belief systems are coming from your subconscious mind. Therefore, your subconscious mind is ruling 95% of your life, of your manifestations, of your success in this life. And so in order to succeed and to heal and to become the best version of yourself, you need to hack your subconscious mind. You need to work with your subconscious mind. And there are a couple ways we can work with the subconscious. The first one is through hypnotherapy. I literally just started the other day doing hypnotherapy for the first time. I'm so excited. I'm going to let you guys know how that goes. And I'm probably going to have my hypnotherapist on the podcast to interview her because she's amazing. And hypnotherapy is a really cool modality. Um, Secondly, repetition. The subconscious can only be changed through repetition. And so by repeating the same things again and again and again, this is how the subconscious is remolded, changed um, and reshaped. And then the third way to heal the subconscious is by working with the body. So the subconscious lives in the body. The conscious mind lives in the brain, in the in the, in the brain and is collect, connected to intellectual uh, knowledge and wisdom. And the subconscious is connected to the autonomic nervous system, to the nervous system, to um, the intuitive feeling, sensing, perceiving parts of our, uh, um, of our body. It's connected to the body, right? To the organs, to the intelligence of the organs. Like I always speak about the heart intelligence, the gut intelligence, the womb intelligence, right? And so the intelligence of these organs, they pick up, they sense, they receive, they feel, they receive, you know, information through food or, taste or smell or you know whatever the sense organs are picking up and then the organs have an automatic response and that happens through the subconscious so you don't need to think about okay it is time for my body to bleed okay body bleed you don't need to think about okay my heart needs to beat heartbeat or think about breathing right and this is why these things happen subconsciously because if they didn't it would overwhelm our brains if we had to constantly be thinking breathe breathe, 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 right? Like we have more important things to focus on. And so, where was I getting with this? Okay, all your trauma is living in the same part of your body that is telling your body how to breathe and how to beat your heart. This is where your trauma is sitting. This is where your uh, patterns are sitting, your self-sabotage, um, the abuse, the trauma, the negative energy, the self-doubt, you know, the pain, all of it is sitting in your body, is sitting in your subconscious. And so this is why we have to do shadow work, which is basically all about making the subconscious conscious, making the unconscious conscious, making whatever's in the dark, existing in the body, existing below the surface of our awareness. We have to make all of these things dark, bringing them into the light. The things that we're not obviously aware of, the patterns, the self-sabotaging, the pain, the emotional challenges, all of that is sitting below the surface in the darkness. And we have to bring that up to the light to make it known, to make it understandable so that we can work with it in a tangible way. Because we cannot heal what we're not aware of okay and so that's why there is so much power in working with a therapist and with a coach because they can see your patterns so much easier than you can because it's kind of like we're blind to our own to our own being you know we have our own blind spots and so that's the power of working with a coach is that they are trained to see your blind spots in a way that you cannot see yourself, right? And so they can help pinpoint 
the blockages and direct your attention, your focus, your awareness, your conscious mind to look at the things that you may have been blindsided to, that you have not been able to see because they have been in your blind spot. And so this is what it means to work with a, you know, a coach and a therapist is they are aware of the subconscious patterns that are playing out just through observing you, just through their body language, picking up on your body language. Um, you know, they say that communication is 80% nonverbal. That means that the way that we connect with other people, 80% of it happens through the body, through energy, through, uh, you know, body language and gestures and eye contact and sense sensory information. And so if we want to heal, we have to work at this deep, deep, deep level. It is not enough to just do the yoga, change our diet, change our, um, you know, like repeat affirmations to ourselves in the mirror. Like while all of those things are great, that is the conscious mind in action. Okay. But to deeply heal and to see permanent change and permanent um, success going forward in your life to manifest a new reality, a healthier reality where you don't experience period cramps, where you don't experience PMS, right? You have to work at a much, much, much deeper level. And so that's why my healing journey did not take off or it kind of hits like a barrier, uh, a plateau, I can say, of growth and of change because I was just doing talk therapy and I was just talking and talking and talking and talking about my problems. And so the more you talk about your problems in the past, in the present, your body basically relives it as if it's happening in the present. And so you end up just going round and round and round in these loop cycles of trauma and of experience. And basically you don't end up healing anything. You just get consciously more aware of what your trauma is. You just are able to cognitively, mentally understand more of why the way you are the way you are, right? And so if we want to heal on a permanent level, to make lasting changes, to affect our future, to manifest a new reality, to experience ourselves in our bodies in a completely new way, without pain, without anxiety, without depression, without, um, you know, the emotional blockages of self-doubt, of imposter syndrome, of feeling not good enough, of... Um, feeling lack of confidence, of feeling disconnected from our femininity, from our sexuality, you know, all of these things, we have to heal at a deep subconscious somatic level. And this is working with the subconscious mind and working with the body. And so that's why I said my healing journey hit a plateau when I was just in talk therapy for so long, like for five years, I was in talk therapy. So I really do know. Um, and again, talk therapy, it's not enough to heal. And so we have to work with the subconscious. And this is why my, my journey, my healing journey really started to take off when I started to include the body, when I started to do these somatic practices, working with movement, working with sound, working with breath, allowing the energy to come up, okay? Allowing the energy to build up and come to the surface. And with that surfacing of energy came the emotions, came the anxiety, came the anger, came the devastation, came the grief. And instead of trying to push away that those emotions or try to cognitively understand those emotions, I went into them in a somatic way. I worked with them in a non-linear way. I worked with them in the body, through movement, through sound, through breath. This is a very creative way. This is a very feminine way. This is a non-linear way to heal. And so this is why this work hasn't 
uh, reach the mainstream western uh ideology of healing yet is because it's non-linear it's non-rational because unlike you know lifestyle changes doing talk therapy going to yoga doing meditation it's very like those things are very structured they're very like set out one step i then do this then i change this then i do the yoga then i do the meditation then i change my diet then i go see my therapist and i am good no, like these are very logical, step-by-step, -step, structured, rational ways. And unfortunately, or fortunately, the ways that we have to heal, it's, it's using those tools. Yes, that's very important. But on the other side, we have to balance that out with non-rational, non-linear ways of healing. And this is the embodiment this is the dance this is um the ecstatic movement the breath the sounding the wildness if you've seen any of my content on instagram like of me twerking and going crazy and dancing around and um you know like beating sticks on the earth that's one of my favorite anger modalities like these are the ways we have to heal because yeah, we are activating through this movement, we are activating the primal body. The primal body is the part of you that has not been influenced, that has not been tainted, that has not been, um, you know, traumatized, that has not been conditioned, that has not been uh, subject to the human paradigm of the societal culture that we find ourselves in the primal body is connected to the hunter-gatherer part of your brain okay and so this is the wild primal feeling um emoting sexual sensual part of your body and so this is the part of your body that you have to activate that is going to teach you how to heal this is the part of your body. The primal part of your body knows how to heal because it has been doing so for thousands and thousands and thousands of generations, for thousands and thousands of years. This primal part of your body is wild. It's ecstatic. It's psychedelic. It's shamanistic. It is illogical. It is irrational. It is creative. It is uncontainable. It is the feminine. And so this is why I bring this uh, understanding that like, yes, we can do the therapy, we can do the yoga, we can do the meditation, we can do all the lifestyle changes, but that is a very masculine structured approach. And in order to balance that out and heal on a full spectrum holistic level, we have to do the other side of that, which is the feminine, which is the creative, the non-rational, the embodiment, the body, the stuff below the surface, i.e. within the subconscious. Okay, so we have to be able to allow ourselves to explore multi dimensional modalities, multi dimensional ways of healing that go beyond the Western paradigm of talk therapy, changing your diet, doing yoga, doing meditation, and that's it. You know, like even yoga and meditation, that's not even like Western ideologies, but it's become much more mainstream as, you know, like this healing wellness kind of uh, uh, paradigm becomes more prevalent in our society. And so I'm here to tell you, babe, let's take it one step further. Let's go into the body. Let's work with the womb. And that's why I work with the womb because it is the epitome of this like a darkness of this below the surface we have no idea what's going on there but the only way we can know is by observing our menstrual cycle is by observing our symptoms is by observing what is going on at the surface and using those symptoms to dive deeper those symptoms as doorways as gateways into understanding what is actually going on with our hormonal health our emotional health our energetic health our relationship to our body our relationship to our feminine energy okay so i hope all of that makes sense i would just like you guys to know that liberated womb is starting in 20 days time round two i am so so excited 
I got such incredible testimonials that are on my Instagram page that you can go look at or on the Liberated Womb sales page, sinkandflow.com slash liberated hyphen womb. If you have any questions about Liberated Womb, please feel free to reach out to me. It is a six-week group coaching container and we go super, super deep. There are five modules for you to digest with over 40 hours of pre-recorded meditations and embodiment practices and theory lectures and content in a back-end portal for you to digest and to work on in your own time and then whatever comes up during that time you then bring that to our weekly to our group coaching calls where you can ask me questions you can ask me anything about yeah, what we're the topics that we're covering, womb healing, menstrual cycle healing, hormonal healing, emotional healing, sexual healing, um, feminine energy healing, healing our relationship to our mother wounds, our sister wounds. Um, yeah, all of it. It is so exciting. I'm so excited to run the second round. We already have an awesome group of women coming together. And what I really love about these group containers, I myself have been in many, many group coaching containers and I always find they're so much more fun and interactive than like, for example, doing one-on-one -on -one work with a coach because you get to, you know, bounce off other people that are also doing this program with you and are on the journey with you, you know, and then they bring up something that they struggle with and then... You know, it's something, oh, I struggle with that too, but I completely forgot. And now you just raised a question that I had, but I forgot I even had it in the first place. So it's really amazing the ways that, you know, the women bounce off each other and connect. And, you know, it's women from all over the world, which also helps us to just not feel so alone because, you know, we realize that every single woman's story is just a reflection of our own stories because we're all women. We're all living in this patriarchal system that has taught us from birth to not trust our bodies, to not listen to our intuition, to ignore our symptoms, to ignore our pain, to just get, swallow a pill and move on and get on with it. But no, I say no more. This is not the way forward. And so the healing modalities and things that I'm teaching you in this course are truly life-changing they are truly revolutionary and they will truly truly change your life this is uh, information that you get to keep you get to keep this course for the rest of your life and once you buy into it I then keep on adding and adding and adding and adding more content as I go along. So the earlier you get into this program, the better I'm going to be running this program probably about twice a year, maybe three times a year maximum. But every single time I run it, the price is going to increase just a little bit more. So the sooner you join us, the better okay this is a run don't walk kind of situation so if you do have any more questions about liberated womb i'd be happy to answer them just pop me a dm on instagram and yeah otherwise thank you for being here thank you for watching please don't forget to rate the podcast five stars on spotify and apple if you're watching on youtube give me a like comment subscribe please it helps me so much and if you're watching on instagram live don't forget to go check out the podcast on spotify apple and youtube okay sending so much love i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode and engage with all the wisdom that was shared if you enjoyed this podcast, please remember to leave a review on your podcast platform of choice as this really helps this wisdom reach new people. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to reach out to me via Instagram DM or send me an email. You can follow me on my personal account on Instagram at Josie, J-O-S-I-E underscore Thorn, T-H-O-R-N-E, or you can follow Sync and Flow, my business accounts, at Sync, 
that's spelled S-Y-N-C underscore in underscore flow. Please feel free to reach out with any questions or queries you may have. Otherwise, get in contact to book a free discovery call to start your self-healing spiritual journey today. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now, loves.